my heart up. Clean my spirit up. Clean my mind up. Sanctify me. Let the blood of Jesus wash me. Purge me. Sanctify me. Right now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. I present my body to you. A living sacrifice. Walk in me. Live in me. Pour out your spirit in me. Right now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. I open up myself. Open up my heart. Open up my spirit. Shasha, 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 Shala. For the eyes of the Lord are searching to and fro throughout the face of the earth to show himself strong on the behalf of him that will seek me. The day that you search for me in all sincerity, with all of your hearts, you will find me. I will move. For I have spoken these other days that I would visit my young men. I would cause visions to come. I would visit my daughters. I would visit my sons. I would visit all, all works, all flesh, all nationalities. I would pour out my spirit. I'm going to do a quick work. I'm going to cut it short in righteousness. I'm going to give power to my witnesses. I'm going to give demonstration and gifts to be restored. And the power of God to drive back the forces of evil. For you cannot see the evil one. You cannot see. There is an unclean, perverted spirit that is out to corrupt your young people. There is a Solomon spirit that is in the land. This is your only hope, is to be filled with my spirit, is to be clothed with power from on high. This is the only thing that's going to drive this evil, unclean, perverted, satanic spirit from your children, from your home, from your bodies. I send my spirit. I send my spirit. I send my anointing. I send my power to drive these evil forces back to hell. They're in your schools. They're everywhere. But we're seeing about how much more do my spirit come forth? Even when the enemy comes in like a flood, my spirit will lift up a standard against him. I pour out upon you. I pour out upon your strength. I give you protection. I drive this evil, unclean spirit from your children. The blood of Jesus, even now, is being applied in the spirit to drive back this evil that's coming out of the pits of hell. Jesus. You have the spirit of the Lord is. There's liberty. There's healing. The yokes are broken. The powers of evil driven back. The burdens are lifted. Go by that land that emotional
seven spirits. Quiet them, that spirit of wisdom, that spirit of might, that spirit of counsel, that spirit of the Lord. Quiet God, them seven spirits that Isaiah speaks about. Quiet God, quiet God, quiet out, quiet back, quiet back. Why do I not know that? 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 Why do I not know that?
God lifted up a standard against that LGBT spirit in Joppa. That old day spirit. That evil spirit. That's what he's doing, lifting up a standard against that dry queen spirit. The witches. The witches in Joplin. God lifting up a standard. Even in people's homes. People that's online. That's tuning in. God lifting up a standard in your area, your home. In your community, Jesus name, Jesus name, Jesus name. The enemy will come in the top of like a flood, but the Spirit of the Lord is a greater force against that flood, a greater force against that flood, a greater force against that force. God, you bind them spirits over our homes, our children, our families, our communities. When you allow judgment to come upon this area, God, remember us. Put a hedge around us. Keep us from the spirit, God, that's out there. children. We plead the blood of our young men, young daughters. We plead the blood against this unclean spirit that's out in this area, that's in this community, that's in this in this atmosphere coming from Joplin, coming from other places. These demons that have come from other places. God, we plead the blood against this devil. Thank you, Jesus. about a God building up a hedge God building up a wall a hedge now you see why you see why it's not just the LGBT community but witches witches been doing something in this uh, Joplin area too God gonna, God gonna whoop this uh, Joplin for allowing that to happen that's right you gonna get them. Remember what I told you this morning about this uh, May 22nd, 2011, when all those people was injured over close to two, close to 1,200, close to uh, 
2,000 killed, close to 3 billion damaged, worse, and that thing stayed on the ground for 36 or 38 minutes. People didn't learn from it. They didn't learn from these things. And God is mocking them. He's mocking them for another judgment upon them. But he's mocking us for deliverance, for protection. He's putting a hedge around us. He didn't learn nothing from this COVID, from this uh, thing that broke out in, at the end of 19, uh, 2019, killed, killing, it was killing a thousand people a day. People didn't learn from all of this yet. But saints, God is building a wall around us. That's what the Spirit, the Spirit of God, like a wall of fire. Keeping out, burning out, keeping out everything that's impure. Building a wall of fire around us. Religion ain't no wall of fire. This kind of presence that you feel is cleansing you. It's bringing peace in you. It's giving you something to stand up against the devil that's coming weak. God's going ahead of us. Thank you, Jesus. And these young people, you know, you know, some of the uh, Pharisees says, shut them kids up. Jesus said, if these hold their peace, he will cause the rocks to cry out. Yeah. The children need to be able to know how to worship God. How to praise God. Man, look to you like that plan, but the Spirit of God coming up on these children. God's got an army that he's preparing, that he's raising up. And I appreciate my brother from uh, Pittsburgh and his wife. And the uh, daughter, appreciate them coming up from Pittsburgh. Amen. Being there with us. Your mother from Baines. Sister Brown. She used to. Huh? Was she down way, way back in the day? In the early 70s? What, 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 what year did she come out there? In the 80s. And I, I flew to I flew to Coop back then. I left back in 80. Uh, one, I think. I left back in 81. Somewhere around there. But we had 2,500 people on Saturday nights. And uh, Saturday, I mean, on Saturday, yeah, Saturday morning with 1,500 people to 2,000. Brother Joe was coming in, Brother Barron, he'd have 500 with Barron would. And we had some of the greatest revivals there. Tent leaders was going up everywhere. Blessed areas was being established. People was moving out of these cities, learning how to grow food, learning how to survive off the land. They was learning how to get out of debt and how to simplify their lives and how not to depend upon the government for nothing. And now all of that's come back on us again. God's got them a new crop that he's raising up again. Y'all see how they're fleeing these cities? Man, they're getting out of New York City. They're trying to get out of Chicago. They don't get murdered on their way out. Trying to get out of Los Angeles. Trying to get out of one of these major cities. The Bible says in Revelation that these cities have come to hold a river. Foul, hateful, and unclean bird. And that's what's going on in Joplin right now. Every unclean spirit. 
devil that's trying to take over. But God is going to stand up like He's doing here tonight. You may not know it, but God is making a difference. He's standing up against this old evil. When I first come in this area, and uh, we didn't have no church. We had this building, and we hadn't had service. And I stayed in the house over there by myself. And I heard a herd of demons rushing toward that house. I'm talking about hundreds of them, thousands of them, heard of them. And I fought with them and wrestled with them all night long. And the man of God came in. He went over to that house and anointed it. Came on these grounds and anointed these grounds. You know, begin to pour that oil. Some preachers, they got offended because the oil got on their benches. Man, that don't offend me. If you only knew the revelation behind that, that's what I was going to preach on tonight. The oil, I mean, the, the horn. The horn. He said, I'm going to anoint you with the horn. And I've got 30 scriptures on it. Showing you what Brother Trump was doing back in them days. And what revelation that comes with it and what's behind all of that. But I didn't have to. When the spirit comes in here like this, you just go into the flow with it. You don't come set in your ways and, and do this. You just let the spirit flow and you just move with it. And when we learn to move with the flow of the spirit, then people that are sick get healed. People that are bound, they get free. People that needs to be revived, that needs to be restored, needs to be strengthened, needs to be quickened, Whatever the need is, the spirit is at liberty to do whatever the need is. Because flesh is out the way. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God said and sent a, a move that the flesh ain't going to interfere with. Man's tradition ain't going to interfere with it. And that's what he's doing. Bringing the flow. And we got to learn when that spirit, like we did tonight, I noticed many seven, many six, or maybe many five percent of it was going in the flow. You got to go with the flow of the anointing. It's the anointing that brings the results, that brings the difference, that brings the healing, that drives back evil. It's the anointing because of the anointing. The yoke is destroyed. The burden is lifted. Jesus said, the Spirit is upon me. He has anointed me. It's that anointing that we're moving in that's going to work miracles and drive back this old Antichrist spirit and this old LGBT spirit. It's not me. It's not you. It's not our abilities. It's not our talents. It's not our singing. It's not our music. It's the anointing that flows in and flows in with us and through us that brings this. And we're learning to get out of the way and let him have his way. So flesh can't take credit. No flesh is going to get credit for what God is doing. Anytime flesh tries to get in the way, God will lift that anointing. He'll lift that glory. He's not going to allow flesh to get in here and take glory for what he's doing. Well, thank you, Jesus. God, you sanctify us. That's what, your, that's what his spirit is doing. I saw the spirit of God sanctifying us, setting us apart. From all this evil and all this worldliness. I saw the Spirit coming in and making us, you know, He said, let there be a difference between clean and unclean, between holy and unholy. That's what I saw. God bringing a difference. Yeah. 
Thank you, Jesus. And we need this kind of atmosphere continually, don't we? Because of the evil that Satan is trying to do. And it's going to be doing it. They're going to be right up there again tomorrow. Y'all better not go down and be nosy. Or let y'all cheer it. Or let none of your young people get that spirit get on you. Don't you don't you go up there and let that spirit, don't you be nosy and go around this uh, drag queen and all this evil. That's what the devil is doing, is releasing these evil spirits in this atmosphere, in these schools, in homes, releasing these old spirits. That's like God has got us out here in the country next to the cows and the horses so we can get in here and get something to stand up against this evil. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Not by might, not by power, but what? By my spirit, said the Lord. By my spirit. Thank you, Jesus. That's why God was preparing us with the word this morning. Giving us his word, laying a foundation. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' precious name. Thank you, Lord. That's right. I saw I was looking out the Spirit of God was falling. It looked like 90 to 95% of the people. It might have been two or three just, you know, spectators, but everybody else was out here, you know, in the in the uh, arena with us. Everybody out here was punching. It might have been two or three spectators. You don't get nothing being a spectator. That's right. You don't get something. You're going to have to, when the water's just being troubled, you better learn how to get in. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You ain't nobody special. You better learn how to humble yourself and get in while the water's is troubled. The devil is taking note to the ones that are not getting in, to the ones that think that they're too important, that they're too big, that they got already got it. That's right. He'd be peeking right through them doors, looking who, who's getting in and who's not. Right on your uh, hoods out there. Mm. Well, thank God, I saw, you know, over 90%. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Looked like they were 98%. Even his children here. Even his children. Boy, I tell you. I'm my little girl that come up here and charge that. Yeah, come here, Pooh. A living. Yeah, this is Pooh. <laughs> they call her Olivia. But boy, I tell you, she reminded me of my little Pooh tonight. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and little Jonathan, why are you at, little fella? Man, I like, they act like they've been in here for a long time. Yeah. I mean, they were getting with it, wasn't they? Yeah. That's right. Not to touch the daddy and the mother. Yes. And the two sisters. What are your two sisters at? So we got two sets of twins. Yes. Come here. That's right. Two sets of twins. You bless these twins. Yes. Both of them. Both, both of these. These two are twins and these two are twins. God, you bless them. And God save their mom and their daddy. Yes, yes. Jesus name and have mercy upon their mom and their daddy. Yes. He said, wait, no, no. Okay, that's another one of my little grand ones. Great grandkids. What, Nala? Come here, Nala. Come here. Oh, these two more right here. Come here. They have Jadis and Genesis. God save their daddy. Save their mama and their daddy. Yeah. Save them, Father. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Boy. 
Jesus. God bless these. Stretch your hands toward my little. Come on, these grandchildren. These are the grandchildren. These are the great grandchildren. Come on. All these great grandchildren. Come on, you want them too. All these great grandchildren. The grandchildren ain't here, I don't know where they are. These are the great grandchildren here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. Hey, 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 y'all listen to me. Gigi Krabs is still alive and they're still going up before the Lord. Gigi. Her prayers, she prayed for God to do something in her, and her prayers are still going up. Listen to me. Hey, hey. That's right, now. That's right. Gigi prayers are still going up, sweetie. Gigi prayers are still going up. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, y'all go back to your seat. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank God for all of them. You know, my wife, she, uh, she really lived for God. She loved God. Yeah. And I'm glad that uh, we have a daughter that have donated her time, her strength, and have given her life yeah. to, to serve God. And God pulled our son in just in time. Just in time. God pulled our son in before he went on to be with the Lord. And I'm praying for God to bring all of our families in. Yeah. There's something evil that's out there. That's why God has given us a season of this spirit being poured out. It's not just to make you feel good. It's not just an emotional thing. God is lifting up a standard against things you can't see. Demons and powers. And there are things that's going to get worse and worse. But God is going to put something in you to stand up against this evil. Like he's doing right now. Giving you something to fight back. Giving these young people something. He knows that School started back this week or last week. And he's given them something to stand up against these evil spirits that's being unleashed in Joppa. Yeah. These demon powers that's being unleashed. You watch what I'm saying. Joplin is marked for another judgment because of what they have permitted to happen last night, tonight, and tomorrow night. I asked a woman when that tornado hit you know, the tunnel hit out here, one of them hit out here in 2008. Didn't it? But, but that thing just went, and uh, it's like a, went just around us, all around. It was coming from this, but it just went all around us. God had mercy on us. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Stand on your feet, please. Y'all feel that peace? Y'all feel that clean spirit? Thank you, Jesus. Stand on your feet, please. 